today I would like to talk to you about grammar in English for IT. Well, of course, I'm sure you all think that grammar is very important. It actually is. However, when talking about English for IT, I can tell you that there are certain topics that are more important. There are certain things that you're going to be using at workplace daily and more often. That is why uh, you don't want to make a lot of mistakes when, for example, you're talking about your project, you're describing a product, or you're holding a meeting, you're giving advice or making some suggestions. First, of course, it's tenses. But again, um, you're going to tell me there are 16 tenses in English grammar. You don't need to know all the 16 tenses because at workplace you're going to use present simple, past simple, present perfect, present continuous, and future tenses such as future simple and going to construction. Next, of course, for IT it's very important to describe processes and in order to do this properly in English you need to be aware of passive and active voice. And I can tell you right away, when describing a process, you have to use passive voice. Sometimes you need to compare things, like you need to compare the old version of software with the new version of software. So when you want to compare things, you have to know how to form comparative and superlative forms of adjectives. Also, it will be useful to know some comparative constructions uh, if you want to be more advanced in your speaking or writing. Model verbs are very important not only for IT but for everyday English speaking. You're gonna have to use model verbs if you want to give advice to your colleagues or if you want to ask something, um, you're gonna talk to your customers. Again, you want to be polite. When speaking politely, you use a lot of model verbs. So, focus on them as well. There is another way you can give advice or maybe like give instructions. You have to use imperatives. Directly tell people what they should do. For example, when they want to use your software. In this case, you use imperative form. There is one more thing I would like to share with you in terms of grammar usage at workplace. Conditional sentences. Of course, if you want to speculate on things or you want to express your hypothetical ideas, use conditional sentences. And I can say that for Ukrainians, um, conditional sentences can be really tough. There are certain mistakes that people make all the time. And this is what we're going to talk about with you in our next videos.